Hey everybody, this is Robert Garcia here, a member of the Eric Stewart Group with Long and Foster Realtors here in Rockville, Maryland. Thank you for coming to my YouTube channel today. I am very excited about today's topic and I'm gonna be talking what has to do with new construction. Because let's just be honest, a lot of people during the last two years kind of gave up on the dream of buying a house because there is super competitive, lack of inventory, you know, crazy terms, no inspections, no appraisals and so on. So a lot of people felt like, you know what, rather than just jumping all those hoops, let's just build our own property. And that's very exciting for a lot of people. Building a home is it has very rewarding, you know, you get to choose the footers, the basement, the quality of the materials, the colors, the, the type of roof, the shingles you want to be using, the type of fence, the type of grass, the garage doors, the remotes, the, the smart thermostat, you name it. You get to choose a lot of those things that are very good thing. But there's also have to be some things that you need to take into consideration that are not your everyday things here. So today I'm going to be talking about some of these things. So first of all, if you're gonna be buying a new home, you also probably need to think about a loan. And this is not your average loan where you go and borrow the money from a bank and then you go to settlement six to 10 weeks later. No, construction loans, especially if you are building from scratch, take a lot, a lot of time. So let's define what's a construction loan today. A construction loan, it's a form of a short-term loan used to finance the construction of a new or major renovation. Okay, let's just 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 a plain description of what it is. Unli unlikely to traditional loan and mortgages, which are used to purchase existing homes, a construction loan is specifically designed only for new construction. Okay, let's we already know that. So, what are the requirements right now for a construction loan under the new guidelines in 2023 or updated guidelines in 2023? So, here are some factors that today we're going to be talking about. Number one, the most important, like it is in any other loan, is the credit score. Yeah, let's be honest. Credit score plays an important role in qualifying for applying for a credit card, buying a car. I mean, you name it, it's very important. So, your credit score is it's so important and the lender will need to consider many factors when looking into your obligations, how you behave in, in front of uh, all your obligations that you have. So uh, you need to have at least a 680 score to qualify for a new construction loan. However, there are some lenders that may require a higher score depending on the size and complexity of the project and of course it, it also with the down payment so all those things are tied up together the more money you put down the less risk the bank is going to take on you so they kind of feel like maybe just bring down the interest rate if you're going to be putting only 20 percent or less there's more risk for the banks and then they now they have to make some adjustments to work with you okay the down payment, it's another important thing to consider when buying a house. It's very important for you to have a down payment. And this is something that can most builders and, and lenders will want to probably to see 20% upfront that you would be putting down for the down payment. Now, this can start in a way of a deposit, you know, uh, if, if you're doing a construction of you know, $500,000, we're talking about $100,000. Doesn't mean you have to put it all up front. It's some, some banks work with you in this kind of like a, in the stages, uh, how you will be financing and putting the money down all the way to settlement. There might be like an upfront deposit and so on. Now, it's always a good idea to consult with a bank uh, nearby. Uh, this is not an endorsement of any kind, but we use a lot of, send a lot of my clients to Sandy Spring. It's a local bank that does very well with, um, new construction loans in this area. So if you guys uh, want information about someone to speak over there, let me know here, drop me some comments and I'll definitely connect you with the right person over there. So let's keep going. Okay, now we have to look into the income and employment history. This is very important, like in any other type of loan. You see, many lenders want to see that you have the right income and the employment history so they can feel confidence in giving you the amount of money that you're asking for. And that has to do with your debt to income ratio, has to do with a lot of these things that we have to be working on. So they have to look at your current debt. If you own a house, 
how much money you own on that property if you own, you know have debt on a car on a boat on a second home vacation home airbnbs you name it they have to look at everything in order to give you the best deal out there okay of course look into that it's all your proof of income and assets uh, or things that you may need to liquidate maybe some debt that you have to pay down uh, before you can even apply for the type of loan now this is very important now we we, we look into the proof we look into what is required to do how much money you need to bring your credit score these are all your credentials but now you have to now apply uh, for the type of property and this is what is called the the building plans and permits before you can obtain a construction loan you'll need to have a detailed building plans and obtain the necessary permits from your local government lenders will want to see your project is in fully permitted and that your plans have been approved by the appropriate authorities so what it means is that now we have to think about okay i have the money or i have the entity that is willing to support me with the amount of money so that's number one now two is i have to do what i need to do now it's i need to probably have to get all the permits and there is just all kinds of permits you cannot imagine there are like uh, structural permits there are going to be plumbing permits electrical permits i mean you name it there's all kind of permits i will say here montgomery county it's well known for kind of delaying things sometimes when it comes to the permits but you know that's it. according to your jurisdiction some counties move faster than others so i'll leave it up to you to do your uh, your research and then another thing here that is very important is the builder. See, a lot of people want to go sometimes with the cheapest builder or the builder that gives you the best deal. And remember, you're spending thousands of dollars when doing these things. So it's very important to research a good builder, get, uh, get probably testimonials from other clients and especially concentrate in areas where what happened when things didn't go according to the plan how was the builder able to work around let me give you an example now that we've been in covid time uh, post covid right when we were in in the middle of covid a lot of shortage of materials for construction how did builders when you have two-thirds of a construction going on you have your permits you you know that by next time you need to be completed next phase but now tell you that hey the type of shingles that you're looking for they're not available or they're going to be available in like in eight eight weeks or or four months or something along those lines so you got to find out how did they behave when there was a shortage of things how what kind of plan they have put together is that a plan you're going to get up front where did they source all the materials uh, are, are they like a good sources do they really have the the best um what kind of warranties on the materials they are buying you know all those kind of things you always have to think about so that's what i'm saying just working with the cheapest guy in town doesn't assure you you're going to get the best return on your investment okay now we talk about all these things let me just now go back to say there are some other requirements that you need to keep in mind it says construction loans typically have a higher interest rate than traditional mortgage so be prepared to pay higher interest rates uh, over the life of the loan why is that because there is a lot of risk there's so much risk there's nothing being built i mean the, the the bank nobody no one will assure a lender that you will finish the project and what happens is the builder the person the company doing the construction they want to get paid right so for a bank to then kind of go and foreclose you on a house that is being built it's not a, a good deal for sure at all never you also have to need to have a very detailed budget for your project okay including estimates for all material labor and cost a good builder should have a whole project for you with all of the cost of everything detailed out even if it is a little bit higher that's okay i always say always budget 10 to 15 percent higher than what you think you're going to spend just for the unforeseen or as i just said lack of material now this material was this much and now it turns out it's more expensive you want to have that wiggle room to play with those things and when you are in the middle of a project you have no sometimes no way to negotiate the first vendor that can provide you the materials you need you got to go with it okay construction loans are typical disbursed in stages that's what I was saying at the beginning you don't have to put all the money up front as the project progresses this means that you will need to have a plan for how you will manage the finances during the construction process okay so 
Let's all summarize and conclude this because I know this is a lot of information. Building your own home can be a wonderful experience, no question about that, but requires careful planning and financing. If you are considering the construction of a new home in 2023, make sure you understand the requirements and that, are, and that you are prepared to meet all of these requirements in a timely manner. Time is of the essence. With the right preparation and guidance, you can build a home that you can call your dream home. Thank you very much again for coming and watching this video. I hope it was very helpful to you. Please, please, please do me a big, big favor. If you find value in what I'm providing, like and subscribe right here below. If you are watching this and you're relocating to the state of Maryland or the District of Columbia, I have a guide here that you can download. And if you simply want to have an appointment with me, there is a link here below where you can book me through a video conference or just a plain phone call, no cost to you, so that we can talk more about your plans when it comes to real estate in 2023 or 2024 or 2025. Thank you again for coming and watching my video. Have a safe day. Bye-bye. Take care.